Hi everyone, it's Miss Wheeler participating in Wildcat Storytime. Before I start my story, which is First Dog, I want to introduce my daughter Kate. Hi! She's in fifth grade over at East Bradford. She was actually in Mrs. Pinto's kindergarten class uh, back when she started school. Uh, I do recommend that when you listen to this book that you have a world map. And if you don't have one, you can always print one offline. And then you can figure out and follow where First Dog goes uh, all over the world. And stay tuned after I finish the book, there might be a little bonus feature for you. All right, so we're gonna get started. Kate's gonna get us started. First Dog by J. Patrick Lewis and Beth Zabatello. Once upon a time, there was a dog that was looking for the perfect place to live. Then one day, thought the dog this gives me an idea I'll trot across the continents that that's what I'll do and if I'm lucky maybe I'll find the perfect place to live so he set off to travel the world all the pictures I can't wait to see Dog first arrived in Newfoundland. That's where he found a Newfoundland. She takes to water just like me, Dog barked. Who could ask for more? Just then, Dog remembered, Whoa, I've heard that this furry giant can even be a lifeguard. All I can rescue is my dog toy. <laughs> so Dog sailed across the Atlantic Ocean to London, England. Waddling near Big Ben was a slobbering English bulldog. He's rough and tough, thought Dog. Did he break that nose in a fight? I bet he has a sturdy brick home that would be perfect for me. But how could I get any sleep with all that snoring? Mm -hmm. So dog traveled to France. There he saw a standard poodle. Puffy and poofy and spiffy, dog marveled. But who wants to spend all day at the hairdressers? Dog decided he couldn't bring himself to parade around town without pants. So it was off to somewhere new. In Croatia, he thought at first he was seeing spots, but it was just dot to dot a Dalmatian hanging out at the one place Dalmatians like best. Dog tried to play tic tac paw with her, but how can you have fun with someone whose best friend is a fire truck? What was waiting for him in Russia? The famous Borzoi. Wow, what an elegant creature. Dog was in awe. No, the life of a great hunting Russian wolfhound is not for me. The only thing I love to hunt is my dinner bowl. <laughs> in China, Dog went in search of the strange looking sharp hay. So soft, Dog sighed, but so wrinkly. Not even an iron could get all those wrinkles out. And look at that blue black tongue. It's meant to scare off the evil spirits, but I'm afraid of my own shadow. Next dog decided to go to Australia, the land down under, to see a dingo. After chasing him across the hot desert, dog thought, the lone ranger might be wild, but he's no party animal. Definitely not the place for me. I need fun, friends, excitement. <laughs> this outback son could roast a doggy burger like a shrimp on the barbie. Good day, mate. Let's see, dog wondered. Where else could I find the perfect place to live? Dog went to South Africa and met a Rhodesian Ridgeback. He soon found out that this Fido's favorite thing to do is hunt lions. What? I like cats, but rule number one is they have to be smaller than me. First a cow looked down its back and now a house next to a lion's den. Dog shuddered. No, thank you. Next dog went back, to the, back across the Atlantic for a stop in South America. As soon as he met the Peruvian hairless, he thought, yikes, bald baby bald. Put some clothes on, why don't you? Dog brushed up against the creature. Why, her skin feels like it's heated. I can see why she's a pampered pooch. She's a bed warmer for humans, but I need room of my own. Then dog traveled north to Mexico. Ole, si, si, the chihuahua. Muy adorable, cried dog. She loves to sunbathe too, but I'd get squished inside a purse. Oh no, I definitely need a house bigger than a lunchbox.
At last, Dog was worn out from his worldwide travels and a little sad too because he hadn't found the perfect place to live. He returned to his old neighborhood, walked over to his favorite park bench, rolled in the grass and took a nap. When Dog awoke, he saw that somebody had left another newspaper on the bench. Do you know what house that is? Any more closer to guessing which house this is? Daddy, Daddy, can we keep him? Who could say no to that face? Yes, we can. And there he is asleep in the Oval Office. The end. Yay. Thanks for letting us read. Good night.